The monument to Freya. I wonder if he ever saw this. That's odd. The runes are dark. I'm grateful to see Freya remembered this way. But what purpose does all this serve? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together. Light and dark. Yeah. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting yeah. peace. But perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his... Presence. Do you believe him? Do you? Oh, boy. I think if he was trying to protect his son by abandoning him, 
He's a pretty bad father. the rubble from here, brother. Feels like we're in the right place. about. Maybe that journal he dropped could tell us more. The Path of Lies. Written by Birka. Perhaps that's who this fella has it out for. 